What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm actually really happy I managed to get this team done. Uh, it's going to be an Urshifu rain team and we're going to be doing best of threes until uh, the Pokemon online ladder actually updates allowing us to use the new Pokemon so we can get a taste for the new series 5 rules. Today we're going to be doing a best of three versus Indigo 1 here. Uh, he actually messaged me on Twitter after I sent out a request saying, hey guys, do you... Uh do you want to do some best of threes <laughs> so we can actually get some content on my channel? Uh, but yeah, shout out to him. I'll link his Twitter in the description down below. And also, guys, be sure to check out the new shirts I'm selling. Those will be in the description down below as well. And leave a like on the video if you guys are excited for Series 5 of Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC. I'm really excited. It's going to be a great time because we have all these cool new Pokemon. Like, like we have Urshifu, we have Galarian Slowbro, we have... Literally old Pokemon returning that can make a huge difference like Talonflame, but yeah uh, If you guys want to do me a favor leave a like trying to reach 150 on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new So the team we're using today uh, will be a rental. I'll leave it in the uh, description down below This is a slight edit to the team. I used in yesterday's video this team has instead of weakness policy Togekiss we're actually running a um, What is it? We're running a Razor Claw Tokus that I had that I thought maybe just fit a little bit better. Uh, what's an appropriate song for this? I guess we'll go with Tower of Waters, considering we're using Urshifu today. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. We're going to be doing this best of three. Let's get into it. So, also they updated this, uh, <laughs> they updated this UI, which I'm really happy about. It looks like we're facing a rain team here with Volcarona, which I'm actually a big fan of having a fire Pokemon on rain teams because it really lets you deal with um, Ferrothorn a lot easier. Like just being able to hit it for times two in the rain instead of um, instead of neutral with a regular uh, like fighting type move that people tend to run on rain teams. Like it's it's just nice. But um, I think we have a pretty good reason to lead off with. Um, I'd say Amoongus here. Not at all a bad play. Not at all a bad po uh, Pokemon for this situation. I think Togekiss is also going to be coming in handy, considering he has a Dragon-type and a Dark-type there that's really weak to it, and it'll help me redirect a hit away from uh, my Amoongus in case he leads off with Ndidi, because his team is kind of weak to um to the boy there. I'm thinking we go Togekiss, Amoongus, Urshifu, and my last Pokemon... Ooh, what do I want to go with here? I have about 27 seconds to choose. Hmm. Kind of want to go with Cinnamon Roll. Cinnamon Roll doesn't seem awful. But neither does Dragapult. Ooh. I got 13 seconds. Uh, my mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. We'll go with you. <laughs> it's just nice for the Ndidi. Ndidi is going to be the biggest issue on that team, in my opinion. Uh, we have a lot of ways of dealing with some of the more scary Pokemon. In fact, I actually, I'm a little bit scared of Kingdra. I have not faced a single Kingdra since I started playing on the Showdown ladder. Also, I'm hoping the in-game audio is loud enough. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm recording it, but yeah. All right, yeah, there it is. You're going to be going for some follow me stuff, I'm certain. Um... This actually isn't bad. I'm not in a terrible spot. I do have the crit Togus. I might need to Dynamax my Togus turn one here. Um, and I'll actually get in Cinnamon Roll just to take that Psychic hit. And I'll start going for some Airstreams. I'm going to go for an Airstream into this thing, even though I'm certain that uh, they're going to follow me away the hit. If not, just go for a Psychic in the to into the... Um, I keep thinking of the name of I keep, I keep forgetting the name of Amoongus because it's been forever, but yeah. Um, actually, no, they might not even. They might not even go for the follow me play because uh, Dazzling Gleam would be able to hit it anyways. And they're not Dynamaxing this turn, which is actually really, really good for me. The reason that's amazing for me is because um, like, I'm able to pretty much take minimal damage here. I was kind of concerned with having to take a Max Geyser or even like um, an Ice type move there, so I'm real happy they didn't Dynamax yet. Oh, it seems they did Dynamax. They were just slower than me. Okay, so this is a little bit bulkier of a Kingdra, I assume. If if not, if it's like Kingdra, they might have actually Dynamaxed the uh, the Indeedy. No, it's the Kingdra, so it's gonna be a little bit slower variant. As my microphone's picking up a little bit of the in-game audio, let me try to fix that real quick before we get further on in this recording. There's the helping hand. Ooh. 
All right. Max Airstream is going to be doing a lot. Do a little under half, like 30%, actually. All right. As they go for the Max Airstream as well. Into Cinnamon Roll. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. I might actually... Hmm. I might actually go for the max starfall here because i see a good opportunity to take out their pokemon but a crit max airstream almost feels better hmm. there isn't much to do about cinnamon roll here i should just go for the darkest lair at into milady over there i'll go for a max airstream because if it crits it could come close to koing and i'm gonna keep up the pressure offensively I, don't, I definitely don't want to fall behind on the Max Airstream Wars, so it's fine. If I can knock out this uh, Indeedy here, I'll be okay. Alright, and hopefully Darkest Light will pick up the KO from this range, because my Incinera is at plus 2. I think I might be able to outspeed plus 1 Kingdra if it was slower than my Togekiss. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's really, really good for me. Beautiful. And we're gonna probably lose Cinnamon Roll here, which it's whatever. We didn't need him for the for the game. The entire reason I brought him was to deal with that Ndidi. And we set up the rain here, so Urshifu might be able to get some uh, some Aqua Jets going. But I think um it's probably my best interest to bring in Amoongus. The reason I'm going to bring in Amoongus here is because I do have that Cobra Berry. Uh, or Cobra. Not Cobra. Cobra is the dark one. Or the ghost one. Uh, but Cobra Berry will allow me to actually deal with this uh, this Kingdra pretty effectively. Because I'll be able to take the Max Airstream. So let me go for a Spore into that Kingdra. And I will actually go for a... Did Kingdra get Hurricane this generation? I'm kind of curious as to what that move is. I'll go for the uh, Max Airstream into the Pelipper. Because I'm not too concerned about Kingdra knocking out my Togekiss from this range. Yeah, I think that's that's a pretty solid play. I should have confirmed it before I clicked it. You'll notice that if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, I have a bad habit of thinking I made a really good play, not thinking through it and clicking it immediately when I really should have thought about it for an extra couple of seconds. Because <laughs> then immediately after I click it, I'll be like, hold on, that made no sense. Here's the max airstream. I'm thinking my Cobra Bear will let me, uh, will let me live it considering I'm max special defense. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, everything runs Airstream this generation, so I highly recommend Cobra Berry Amoongus. It's really useful. So we're going to go ahead and put that thing to sleep. And then we're going to start clicking these Dazzling Gleams, and they're going to be doing a lot of damage. As we get the critical hit, which is nice. I don't think I've landed one yet. I'm not sure, though. I think I might have landed one in the Ndidi, but it didn't do too much. And we get the Spore off, so it's time to start clicking Dazzling Gleam. And I can Rage Powder away any hits that that uh, Polyted wants to go for. Alright. So here, I think it's in my best interest just to... Actually, I'll just Giga Drain. I'm not really concerned about Polytoad knocking out my Togekiss. We'll go for this Dazzling Gleam, too. I'm faster than the Kingdra. Or, not quite yet, actually. I'm not faster because he has the Rain up. As he goes for the Protect, he's going to lose his Kingdra here. Alright. And... Beautiful. Okay, I, w I don't know why. I was slightly concerned that without a crit, I wouldn't be able to knock it out. Mostly because I feel like if you're running something that bulky, like, it's EV'd for, like, Togekiss or something. I do like the max airstream bulk tech though. Like a lot of people are gonna be running that max speed, but Kingdra is such a good defensive Pokemon that you can definitely afford to run that a little bit more defensively. Here, I think I want to showcase the Urshifu. I'll go for this. Uh, I'll go for this Rage Powder actually, because Urshifu just comes in and sweeps. I'm gonna get in the Urshifu. It's time to. I, I want to click a move with Urshifu. This is for the thumbnail, guys. <laughs> this is for the thumbnail. <laughs>
gonna rage powder away this hit. There's the helping hand. Gonna go into this Amoongus. That's fine. I have another redirection Pokemon in the back with Togekiss in case this Amoongus doesn't survive. Giga Impact. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> now that's some tech. That And it gets the crit. I don't think the crit mattered, but that's some tech. That's actually some tech. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. I want to click Surging Strikes, though. That, that thing's wide open. I want to click it. Let me get in Togekiss. I'll follow me away the hit, and I'll Surging Strikes into that uh, into that Stoutland. For the thumbnail. Guys, dude, for the thumbnail. It's for the thumbnail. By the way, comment what do you think about Urshifu. Like, I'm a big fan of Urshifu right now, especially the water version. I think it's really clean, so give me your opinions. Give me your thoughts. Don't forfeit. I want to do this for the thumbnail. It's for the thumbnail, man. For the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> and we finally get to see the move in the rain that looks beautiful in the rain oh my god that's a thumbnail and a half okay so I think that's game because I can just click close combat into that don't you dare lower my don't you dare lower my accuracy man don't you dare lower it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, uh, I should be fine. I can just click Air Slash into close combat, and we should be good. Air Slash. Close combat. We're good to go. As long as I don't miss. Beautiful. Okay, so Urshifu gets to clean up in the endgame, which is really nice. I think that's Urshifu's... Uh, I think that's definitely its niche. Like, it's a strong offensive Pokemon, but being able to clean up in the endgame is such a beautiful thing. Like, it's able to bypass Protect, so you can Aqua Jet into whatever you need to. Like, it's beautiful. Let me go ahead and message this man on uh, on Instagram. GG Game 1. That's tech, though. <laughs> like, I'm telling him... I'm telling him, like, Giga Impact. Giga Impact is, like, such a scary move. Alright, let's play with the same rules here. Tower of Waters, you know, let's switch it over to Mustard's theme, man. We gotta we gotta rock with mustard. Fun fact about me, honey mustard is my favorite my favorite condiment. Alright, let the battle begin. That's what you said you said true. I saw it. Yeah, I definitely popped off a little bit when I saw that move. I'm like, no way, you're, you're using Giga Impact, that's crazy. Alright, yeah, um, this game definitely cemented that Togekiss is incredible in this matchup. Uh, but I think he might adjust here. Indeed, he's really good for him. It really is. I'm thinking I... Hmm. Let me think. I'm thinking I bring Amoongus in the lead again, and I play it exactly the same. I play this game exactly the same, I think. Like, I don't want to adjust at all. I think I was doing all right. Um, Crit Togekiss is a huge, huge asset in this game that we need to keep healthy. So, uh, the reason I'm going to lead off with Amoongus, even though I immediately switch out into Incineroar, is because I want to play some mind games here. Basically, by leading off Amoongus... Um, I can kind of gauge the lead here, like, if he doesn't lead off in DD, if he manages to adjust, I should be able to get a free, uh, Spore off onto his side of the field, but if he does lead off in DD, uh, he's more likely to want to Psychic into the Amoongus, making it even safer for me to switch in Incineroar there. And even if he does go for the Max Geyser into the Incineroar, I'm going to get a Max Airstream off into that in DD, and be able to deal with it in two hits, likely. Likely two hits. I don't remember how much damage it did the last game, but it did a lot. And I am running, you know, a crit set, so we're probably good to go. Stoutland and Milady. Okay. So it looks like he's opting for a slightly different strategy here. Um, ooh, this is going to be a little bit scary, to be honest. 
apologies if you hear any background noise. It's uh, early in the morning. Everyone else is getting ready for their day. Ooh. Um, if he's scrappy, then he's going to take this pretty well. Or then, then this is, like, not going to affect him at all. Because if he's scrappy, he won't get intimidated. But I'm kind of hoping he's not. He's definitely scrappy, though. So, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll go for my max airstream because I can take the hit. And I will switch in Cinnamon Roll here. I'm mostly concerned about keeping Amoongus healthy uh, right now. Because, like, in DD, it, it's so obvious that they're going to want to go for Psychic into that thing. That it's, like, just just switch in the, um, switch in the Incineroar. And also, not Scrappy, which is really good for me. Really good for me. Scrappy actually ignores Intimidate this generation, for those of you that weren't aware. So I'm assuming... What's the other ability that it gets? Uh, it gets Sand Rush. I know that, but I'm not sure what the last one is. Let me take a look at that. Stoutland... Cerebi. And it looks like they're Dynamaxing that Stoutland there, so I don't know what it's going to go for. Probably Max Strike. Oh, its last ability is uh, Intimidate. Did it actually reveal Intimidate? I wasn't paying attention for a second there. Here's the Airstream. Mostly concerned about Milady over there. I was, as we do get the crit, which is really nice. And we are faster than the Stoutland, which means that even after this uh, Max Strike, we'll be able to take out the Ndidi. I'm really, really hoping that he ended up going for uh, Max Strike into the Incineroar slot. But he probably didn't. That's going to do a lot. Ah, I'm glad I invested a little bit into bulk. This is a faster Tokus, but the bulk is definitely making a huge difference here. Something nice as well is they do go for the Psychic, and I make the call. I'll be able to Parting Shot in the Stoutland as I go for another Max Airstream into the Ndidi. Um, and that's going to make it even easier for my Tokus to live a hit. And with Ndidi off the field, I'll be able to get in my Amoongus. And Stoutland's at minus two, so their Dynamax is pretty neutered. And I, I might even be able to bring in, like... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I bring an Urshifu here. Maybe I just make that play. Because Urshifu is now looking really, really clean. But I think it's safer just to bring in the. Uh, I think it's safer just to bring in the Amoongus. All right. As we pivot out here. I'll be able to get in, uh, do I want to make the call? I feel like he's definitely more concerned about this Toekiss right now. I'm going to go with Urshifu. I don't care if I get knocked out with Urshifu, man. I really want to, I want to showcase him, and I'm, I'm certain that this man went into the, uh, into the Toekiss slot right there. Oh god, that's Max Knuckle. Okay, at least that's, uh, <laughs> at least that's not as bad as it could have been. Because I can Max Urshifu one more time, and Close Combat's going to be doing a chunk. Let me think. If Kingdra comes out here, I'm probably going to have to max airstream into max no or max airstream into close combat. Ooh, as it's Volcarona, I'm actually just going to max airstream into Stoutland here and surging strikes because Volcarona cannot protect itself from that. And I'm hoping he's not running rage powder because I really want to showcase this ability or this uh this powerful move. As he withdraws, okay, he's trying to make a call here. And the Crocodile comes out. That's alright, though. That's alright. I'm certain I'll be able to do a lot of damage with this hit. But I'm glad we kept Incinera healthy. It's a little bit better for the Volcarona matchup. As we get the crit there. Which is really, really nice. Crit Kiss is nasty, guys. I almost feel bad running Crit Kiss. But this is going to do a lot. In fact, it's just going to knock it out because I'm critical hitting it. I almost forgot about that. It crits every time. You can't intimidate this mon. You can't intimidate this mon. It's crazy. Alright, let's see if he attacks into the Urshifu. Because Urshifu definitely feels like a huge threat to his team. There's the Max Lightning. Into the Tokus. Okay. So he gets rid of the Tokus, but Urshifu now is at plus one and has Surging Strikes. I think we're good to go, guys. 
I think we're good to go, or she was going to clean up this match. Alright, cool. Let me get in a cinnamon roll here. And I'll be able to fake out into that Stoutland as I go for the Surging Strike since the Volcarona guaranteed outspeed. Alright. Dynamax is ending. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Urshifu, guys. This is a cool Pokemon. Leave a like for Urshifu, guys. Like, we, I just showcased Urshifu. Like, it, it was the star of, like, two, well, I mean, Togus definitely took the reins for the first game. It took the reins down to Africa, but, dang, man, Urshifu definitely cleaned up in these last two. Like, it's a nice cleanup Pokemon. It's like, hey, everything's been chipped away at, now I can break through any Protect and KO. My opponent definitely has a really cool team, though. Like, testing out all these new Mons, like... I was a little bit concerned about seeing, like, um, what's that move that came out? Expanding Force. Expanding Force in DD seems like a huge threat, and I'm kind of concerned that I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be losing to that with a lot of my teams. Um, yeah, I have to keep that in mind. I have to keep that in mind for the future. All these new moves. We're still getting used to the format, though, but yeah, this is a cool, this is a cool team. And once again, this, uh, the rental for my team is going to be in the description down below if you guys want to use it. We're going to see this knockout. Two at KO right there. Don't even need to use the third one. Beautiful. Beautiful match. Alright. So. Uh, managed to get the 2-0 there. Versus uh, Indigo 1. Once again, this guy. Great guy. Helped me out uh, with building my team a little bit. Uh, like, I, my Politoed wasn't even quite ready. He's like, here, let me level that for you, bud. Amazing guy. His uh, link will be in the description down below to his Twitter. If you guys want a best of three me, follow me on Twitter. I'll be sending out some requests for best of threes in the next coming days. So I'd really appreciate that. Leave a like in the video. Join the Discord. Check out the t-shirts. Do whatever you want. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.